If you've ever pored over the facts and figures of badminton, you'll have seen James Robinson's horse Comanche crop up quite a few times with nine appearances at the four-star event. At the grand old age of 19, Comanche is being aimed at a tenth appearance at badminton in 2012. He has finished fourth, fifth and sixth in previous years and provided James with a place on the GBR squad at the 2005 Europeans. Having owned and produced the horse since a four-year-old, James has built a long, happy and successful partnership with a horse that could make the record books this year by completing an eighth badminton. I went to Herefordshire to meet them and find out a little more. I just have to hold on, I think. I think he just said, for God's sake, Dad, don't fall off. <laughs> Set off eight times, um, and one year I fell off him. So he's, he's completed seven times so far. Right. Yeah, we withdrew one year when uh, the other ground was quite hard. Yeah. I did the dressage and then. Is he eighteen or nineteen? Now? He's nineteen this year. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So okay. pretty pretty good going. Yeah. No. Absolutely. Is he? Does he? Does he prove unnatural in all of the phases? Um. Cross country is his forte. In, in his, 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 very brave, um, got a great heart and a great engine, um, and I think he enjoys it. He, I think he enjoys that part of it, um, or he does enjoy that part of it. So that's that's his forte. His dressage, he's he's a natural mover, but he he's, he struggles a bit with tension, right. um, atmosphere, and crowds get to him a bit. So he's quite a lot of work to um, get him to settle for the dressage. But he can do a lovely test. He was uh, I think he was fifth after the dressage one year, um, and then show jumping. Is, it's probably been his weakness, which has been frustrating because at one days with, when there's no atmosphere, he's jumped a lot of clear rounds at advanced yeah. level and uh, CIC level. But I suppose being honest, at four star level, coming in with a crowd and jumping the last twenty in the afternoon with the band playing and the clapping, he tends to get a bit tense. And we can, you know, he can can have a few, can have a show jump. He can jump clear, but he can have three or four. Right. Just and it's not. He's naturally quite a careful horse. It, it's just he gets quite tense. Because right. he's. I mean, he's had uh, you know a couple of um, sort of top ten placings at four stars. Isn't he? Yeah, he's had. Uh, he's been. Was he been fourth, fifth, and sixth at badminton? So he's had three. Yeah, three top six places uh, at badminton, and you know, every other year he's been pretty close as well. He's, he's generally been. I think we nearly always jumped in the last twenty, but the other years we probably had two or three show jumps down, which have. Dropped his back down. Yeah. And um, has he has he proved because you produced the horse yourself, didn't you? Has he was he an easy horse to sort of um, bring up through the ranks? Yes, uh, yeah, he has been. I mean, uh, I'd like to say he was a terror away, but he wasn't. He was the first time I took him cross country school, and he was unbelievable. He was, um, you know, he jumped a ditch, he jumped corner. The first time he, he was very straight, very relaxed about it, um, and. He's been a very easy horse. Um, he's very easy and stable. Um, he's easy to get fit. I mean, the only thing is he he is slightly nervous or spooky. Yeah. Um, so that's the only, that's been the hardest thing to get him to settle and relax. But I mean, he won novices. He won intermediates. I mean, he he has been very easy to, yeah. to produce. Really. How did you how did you come across the horse? Um, I'd always gone up to Sean and Sally Park in, in Shropshire to buy horses yeah. and um, I bought a few off them and I think actually I was I bought one off them and I was taking it back um, because it wasn't going to quite make the grade and it was going to be an ex sort of an exchange job typical dealer set up um, so it was sort of take this back and have a look through the yard and see what we've got mm -hmm. and <coughs> they showed me some horses and then I sort of I knew I had to take something back and wasn't all that keen on it, I think, and sort of kind of nosed around the stables. And there were a couple which had just arrived two days earlier. Um, and they were both ill, and Comanche was very ill. And uh, he had a snotty nose, and he was very thin and ribby. And I said, sort of liked the look of him, and asked why, who he was buying. He was buying a star, and I knew there were a couple of good iron stars about. And I said, oh, quite like him. Could we see him do it? And so we got him to trot up, and he was coughing. And they said, oh, we can't really show him. But I said, well, you know, you're taking this one back. We've got to take something. So I sat on him for five minutes and that was it. I thought, yeah, I think I've done well here. Yeah. I was quite fortunate, I think, because they'd had him, only had him a couple of days. So I think they thought, we've only had him a couple of days. You know, there's no loss here to us. 
So, so if you were looking at him for a client, you might have uh, you might have not passed him. You <laughs> passed him yet. No, I, for a client, you'd have to come back and see. Him. <laughs> you'd have to come back and see. Him. <laughs> Definitely, no, he he, didn't, he wasn't he wasn't particularly healthy. Yeah. So, um, I mean, you're a, 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 a sort of a working vet, and yeah. Um, do you so do you see yourself as a vet or an event rider? Um, when Comanche started out, I saw, saw myself as an event rider, um, but as time's gone by and uh, circumstances change, we've got a family, we've been married, um, and we had a few owners in the past, but they've sort of uh, their horses have retired, and uh, I do I sort of see myself more as a vet now who tries to compete, you know, at a, at a well at the top level and tries to be fairly competitive, but uh, I suppose I'm, I'm more of a vet now. Well, I mean, you, you, you have been quite competitive, um, obviously not only at the four stars, but um, you're at the European Champions as well. Yep, we were lucky to get uh, selected for 2005 yeah. Yeah, at Blenheim, which was a great experience. Um, and, and really, really enjoyed the experience and having the crowds there was fantastic. And as it rained on cross country day there and it got quite slippy and was causing trouble. Uh, Comanche was a star and raced around and put in a real good, good cross country round. And um, will you? Uh, so, I mean, you're aiming to come to Badminton again with him uh, this year. Yep. Will you go through the sort of the normal, um, you know, Alden, Belton, <laughs> uh, you know, Western sort of warm up? Yep. You obviously done your research well. <laughs> <laughs> generally, tends to be the route we take. Um, generally, go to Alden because the, the ground's generally good. Whatever, whether it, you know, unless it's yeah. snowy, we'll normally get, know we'll get a run there. And he seems to quite like Alden, and they've always been very hospitable to us and then he goes to um, yeah, Belton for a bit of more of a challenging course, generally go to Belton and try and take the straight routes and see if he's on form or not and then if the Belton will end, always end to Weston, if the Belton run goes well, perhaps we won't run at Weston, if the Belton run doesn't go quite so well we would run at Weston but this season will be a case of see how he starts the season as to whether we go to Badminton or not, it's not decided at the moment, it's how he feels and how he goes. As he's got older, have you, have you had to sort of change or adapt much that you do with him? Um, the way you ride him, the way you, you know, sort of warm him up? Or? I think we do less with him now. Yeah. Um, certainly his fitting work, yeah. he, he, he does less, doesn't he? Yeah. Um, doesn't take much to get fit either, does he? He seems to... No. I mean, he normally gets a winter's rest of probably two or three months off. Yeah. Um, and I think he get. We do less galloping work, yeah. work with him now. He, he keeps himself very fit in yeah. winter, and I tend. I mean, it's very easy to gallop them and gallop them and just wear them out. Um, but you do less in the school as well, don't you? Think? Just yeah, that's true. Dressage, don't yeah. go around and around in circles. Cause yeah, and he gets bored. Dressage. I get even bolder. <laughs> <laughs> he gets naughtier than you do. So yeah, that's true. Kate does a lot of lunging and pursuer work with him. Yeah. Pursuer work over poles too. Um, try and loosen him up and get his back moving. So I, I ride him less. Yeah, yeah. I don't ride. You know, I obviously do ride him, but I ride him. I think we can get more useful work other ways. Yeah. So yeah, things have changed, but I do do things differently. So I mean, you've been, um, you know, having been to badminton sort of, I don't know, ten or eleven times now. Um, it's almost as many as Andrew Nicholson. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you must know the place quite well. What's your sort of favourite? Um, uh, what's the, your favourite thing about badminton? Um, my favourite thing, I think uh, the whole event really, mm -hmm. um, I know that's, that's not really answered the question, I suppose the stable yard is unique, Yeah. yeah. It, it, the stable yard is unique and uh, you sort of, you do feel settled in for the week. Mm -hmm. It feels uh, very familiar doesn't it, it feels yeah. free, you know, you've been there so much, you know all the ins and outs and all the people. We knew most of the people and you know the people were pretty help, helpful and hospitable. You know if it's rainy or chuck it down you've got a nice permanent stable. <laughs> so it just feels like you're at yeah. home. Yeah. It just seems a bit more, well I find it more relaxing and easier to settle into and then obviously you're always riding out under the arch into the park. I, I always find that a bit of a thrill just because it's an amazing thing and a, pr a privilege to be able to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's amazing. Bit of history there, so yeah, I, I, 
I think the stables, probably. Yeah, Matthew loves it. He knows. He just knows every year when he gets there what's going on. He knows Saturday yep. morning as well. He's quite chilled all week, and then Saturday morning, how he knows oh, really? the differences. He's, he definitely knows. Yeah, he starts <laughs> threatening to bite you and pulls his ears back. Yeah. He doesn't want you in his stable. He wants it? to get on with the job. He wants to get on with the job. Yeah. When, you, when you're at a big event like that, do you... Um, because you're a vet, do you get sort of pulled uh, pulled all over the place by um, all of the other competitors saying, well, oh, can you just have a look at this or can you just have a look at that? No, not really. Yeah. I mean, most of the other competitors tend to have their own vets, who generally, especially at the higher levels. Yeah. They, they've got their own Team. vets they've got their, yeah, relationships with, and a lot of private vets turn up Saturday night up to cross country. Um, so occasionally, you know, somebody like an acquaintance or a friend might just say, can you have a quick look at my horse trotter? I think it's fine, just as a sort of... Everybody wants a bit of reassurance, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, generally it's people tend to bring their own vets. Yeah. What's so? What's been your sort of career highlight so far? Um, career highlight. Well, he's. I've been fortunate, and he's. He had a long career, and he's given me quite a few highlights. But um, I suppose the cross country in two thousand and four. It was very muddy. Got bottomless. Oh, yeah. um, and that was his first proper. Well, he'd done Burnley, hadn't he? But that was when we really realised how. Yeah, that was, was that, <laughs> that was his yeah. that was his second badminton. Um, that's right. I'd fallen off the year before. Yeah. Which was more into my the fault. Water. Into the water. Which, which was my <laughs> more my fault than his. So it was his second year at badminton, and the ground just deteriorated and deteriorated, and he went around the chase, which was getting bottomless, and he just kept galloping and galloping. And then we set out in the cross country and people just weren't getting home and he just kept galloping and galloping and it, I don't, it wasn't an easy course and with the ground as well mm. and he just galloped his heart out and jumped fabulously um, and we were second fastest round the cross country um, and ended up finishing fourth so that was fantastic but 2010 as he came back yeah. as a that was his best all round Best all round performance, you know, I'm sure. Was he 16, 16 then? Or 17? Two, 17. 17. He came yeah. back in 2010 after a couple of years, mm. well, withdrawn one year, mm. and came and did a fabulous dressage test. Um, I think it was fifth or sixth after the dressage, mm. and then went round across country brilliantly, and then show jumped and just had just had one, one show jump down, ended up six. Or so, although we ended up six, it was more of a. because it was more consistent performance through the whole event, you know, we'd been good at the dressage. Very committed dressage, good cross country, good shows up around. So that mm. that I was also mm. really excited about that. As well. Was that a rainy year as well? I think that was a rainy year, wasn't it? Might have been. Yeah, I think it was a rainy year, wasn't it? I don't think it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. No, but it was wet. It, and it rained in your show jumping round. It rained in my show jumping round. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just seems to be a good omen. It seems to be a good omen if it rains for us. <laughs> uh, right, so, you're, so you're hoping for a rainy that yeah. day this year? Well, uh, yes, I think so. He, he doesn't mind the rain. And, yeah, we seem to go yeah. seem to go better in the rain. <laughs> you went very well last year. Right? Yes, it was. Yeah. Good. yeah, yeah, he went very well last year. Um, can't quite remember. Did we have? Uh, he didn't show jump very no, well. No, he didn't show jump. have three down. No, two down. Two jumps down. Uh, uh, the dressage, yeah. Previous year he'd done a stunning dressage. Mm -hmm. And then last year, didn't quite get the dressage right. I think actually some of you photographers were, they'd let <laughs> photographers into the dressage arena. And uh, he, didn't like he didn't like that. He could hear the shutters clicking. Ah, uh, right. And that really set him on edge. Um, so we were a bit caught out by that. Um, so yeah, I couldn't settle him for his test. So we were always a bit, always a bit struggling to catch up. And it was quite competitive last year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Something like that. Yeah. So we were struggling a bit. <laughs> so what? Um, what's your sort of next career highlight? <laughs> next career highlight. <laughs> Uh, well, that's a good question. Um, not quite sure, are we? Well, I, you know, we'd like to get to badminton, and you know, for him to start ten badmintons in a row would be pretty remarkable. I think um, he won't go unless he's right to go. I mean, we're not going to go just for the sake of it. Um, but he feels very well in the little bit of work we've done so far. So, you know, definitely, be, I'd like to get either to get to badminton, and then uh, not sure after that we'll see. <laughs>